For the next 90 minutes, we will be questioning the candidates following a format designed and agreed to by representatives of the two campaigns. However, there are no restrictions on the questions that my colleagues and I can ask this evening, and the candidates have no prior knowledge of our questions. By agreement between the candidates, the first question goes to Governor Dukakis. You have two minutes to respond. Governor, if Kitty Dukakis were raped and murdered, would you favor an irrevocable death penalty for the killer? No, I don't, Bernard, and I think you know that I've opposed the death penalty during all of my life. Uh, I don't see any evidence that it's a deterrent, and I think there are better and more effective ways to deal with violent crime. We've done so in my own state, and it's one of the reasons why we have uh, had the biggest drop in crime of any industrial state in America, why we have the lowest murder rate of any industrial state in America. But we have work to do in this nation. We have work to do to fight a real war, not a phony war against drugs, and that's something that I want to lead, something we haven't had over the course of the past many years, even though the vice president has been at least uh, allegedly in charge of that war. We have much to do to step up that war, to double the number of drug enforcement agents, to uh, fight both here and abroad, to work with our neighbors in this hemisphere. And I want to call a hemispheric summit just as soon after the 20th of January as possible to fight that war. But we also have to deal with drug education and prevention here at home. And that's one of the things that I hope I can lead personally as the President of the United States. We've had great success in my own state, and we've reached out to young people and their families and been able to help them by beginning drug education and prevention in the early elementary grades. So we can fight this war, and we can win this war. And we can do so in a way that marshals our forces, that provides real support for state and local law enforcement officers who have not been getting that kind of support, do it in a way which uh, will bring down violence in this nation, will uh, help our youngsters to stay away from drugs, will stop this avalanche of drugs that's pouring into the country, and uh, will make it possible for our kids and our families to grow up in safe and secure and decent neighborhoods. Mr. Vice President, your one-minute rebuttal. Well, a lot of what this campaign is about, it seems to me, Bernie, gets to a question of values. And here I do have on this particular question a big difference with my opponent. You see, I do believe that some crimes are so heinous, so brutal, so outrageous, and I'd say particularly those that result in the uh, death of a police officer, they, when those real brutal crimes, I do believe in the death penalty. And I think it is a deterrent. And I believe we need it. And I'm glad that the Congress moved on this drug bill and have finally called for that. Uh, related to these narcotics drug kingpins. And so we just have an honest difference of opinion. Uh, I support it, and he doesn't.